So we finally have Anna's event in Duel Links, and what does that mean? Well, a brand new box, Maximum Gustav, is coming very, very soon, likely on the 28th of February, the end of the month. And this is looking to be one of the most exciting boxes for me personally in a while. It's the, it's the definition of a content box, a YouTube box, tons of different decks, maybe not all top tier, but I think I think one of them is going to be uh, a, a very, very, very good contender very top tier meta deck so uh let's just dive right into the brand new box and see if there's anything good inside first of all we have heavy freight train derrick rain one of the staple cars staple thrill i think for the anna train deck if an earth machine is normal special summon to your field you can summon this card out for free from your hand which is great but as attack and defense are halved doesn't matter immediately what we're doing is we're seizing this off away for a rank 10 or rank 4 machine exceeds that is literally it but also if you detach this from Exceeds Materials effect, you can then pop one card on the field. So it has the Abyss Dweller, uh, Atlantean, uh, Heavy Infantry, uh, Attack Squad or whatever, that whole combo you'd have with Water Exceeds, you've now got in your train deck. But it's not a quick effect yet. There's no quick effect train support coming right this second that we know of. But if it does come, then this is going to be kind of ridiculous. Then... We have Meteor Black Comet Dragon, a brand new card for Red Eyes. Of course, we, we're getting as well the reprints of um, Bang of Chain and Flame Out Dragon. So this is kind of to be expected. And when it's summoned, you can dump a Red Eyes card from your deck or hand to the graveyard to deal quarter damage to your opponent equal to that monster attack, which is, what, 600 damage if you're sending a Red Eyes, which is not really the best, but if there's no card on your opponent's field, that's OTK. Because 600 plus 35 is 41, which is more than 4,000, so there you go. And if this card does go to the graveyard, you can then revive a Red Eyes in your graveyard, which is also not, you know, not entirely terrible. So it's got some floating, it does some burn damage, it's a big attack point. It's kind of fitting with the theme of Red Eyes, which is literally just summon out a big boy to the field. Maybe deal some burn damage and then attack in. So not much changes, but definitely a cool new card to have to develop Arsenal. And of course, making these selection box cards easy to get is also really, really good. We have a brand new archetype in Duel Links. Metaphos Mithrilium coming in as the Ultra Fusion card. Now, this is the deck I think will be the most top tier meta relevant going forward from this box. Just uh, the, the card we'll get to in Super Air is ridiculous. So, you can target two Metaphos cards in your graveyard and one card on the field, shuffle the cards from your graveyard back to your deck, and if you do, bounce the card you targeted on the field to the hand. So, it's a decent removal, it's recycling your own cards, which Metaphos really do like to do. And also, like the like the Flare Dragon, if this card is sent from field to graveyard, you can special one Metaphos Pension Monster in your graveyard to face spectral deck to your field, which is, you know, always having some recursion is really, really good. Then, sticking along that theme, we have Metaphos Gold Driver. So all the Metaphos we're getting in Duel Links Day 1 are going to be these Vanilla Pendulums. They all have the special effect in the pen zone of once per turn. You could target one other face-up card you control, destroy, and if you do, set a Metaphos Spell Trap card from your deck which is really, really good because you're going to search out most of the time the Metaphos Fusion spell card. So literally every card in your, you know, every monster in your deck is a searcher for your fusion spell, which is hyper consistent. So uh, that's really good. Of course, the pendulum. So if you do pop a pendulum card on the field, you can then bring it back out via pendulum summon, which is kind of the main thing. Obviously, Master Rule 3, when these came out, these were... um kind of ridiculous so uh gonna be interesting to see what they do in door links then another very old archetype getting support menefis in menefis horus a generic rank rank level six synchro which gets effects based on the non-tuners that was used to summon it so if it's a normal monster it's unaffected by card effects this turn an effect monster you can get a card on the field or a pendulum you can yoink one monster opponent controls but it can't attack this is fine this might be one of the weaker ultra rares of the box in my opinion i I think it has a place, but I don't I don't even really see it being all that useful in Metaphys right now. This is a, a bit of a weird one. I think it's really just a Metaphys in name, not really in actually how it works. So, sure. Then, Box of Friends. I did not see this one coming. Uh, I've played against this in Marstall a couple of times, and it's been a very, very fun, unique deck to play against. If this card is destroyed in Sense Graveyard, you can special summon two normal monsters from your deck with different names, whose attack and defense are zero in defense mode, but they can't be used as Synchro Material, which is fine because, of course, we're going to use them to an Exceed Summon, 
likely into Princess Cologne, who is a rank 4 generic monster who we're going to be summoning. Now, they are destroyed in the end phase, which is fine, because you are going to be going immediately into Princess Cologne or another generic rank 4 Xyz. Now, when this card is summoned, you can target one box of friends in your graveyard and special summon it. <laughs> so immediately, you're kind of getting value from the box of friends you just put in the graveyard. And if you control another monster, your opponent can't target this card for attacks with cards or with effects. Which means you can kind of create a pseudo lock, which is really, really interesting if done right. Obviously, it's kind of expensive. Two ultra rares <laughs> is kind of ridiculous. And if a face up normal monster control is destroyed by, by card effect and since the graveyard, you can attach one material from this card to just replace it with another normal monster from your deck or graveyard in defense mode. So you're getting materials out that is pretty good. So fair enough. Then moving on to Super Dreadnought, Rail, Cannon, Gustav, Max, the main box you are, the cover card. Once per turn, detach one, inflict five, inflict, no, inflict 1000 damage. Sorry, this is actually changed to your opponent. Which is still an OTK if there's nothing on board. But also an OTK if you do use this with your um, your heavy freight train Derecrane, right? Because you would attach it, pop a card, and deal 1000 damage, then go in and attack in for 3k damage, making a game. Gonna be interesting to see how this does. Uh, I, I hope it's fun. <laughs> I hope it's not too toxic. And you know, you know, Anna has got some brand new skills as well that do support this and do make this, you know, easy to some. We'll talk about them when the uh, the actual character event does does drop. Then we have Bangra Chain as our final ultra rare card. Cool reprint, but if you've been in that selection box mini volume three, then you would have had this already. So still cool it's now finally free from selection box prison which shouldn't really exist in the first place now onto super rare cards with super express bullet train this card can just special himself out if all the monster control are earth machines which the uh, the Anna skills are going to kind of lock you into earth machines in your deck so this is just a free level 10 monster to then go on board to make your exceeds just in general really really good so uh you're gonna play this probably at three Maybe a two, I'm not sure of the ratios, definitely a two of, maybe a three of, but then a definite three of Railroad Stampede, a level four earth machine. If this card is normal special summoned, you can target one earth machine in your graveyard, accept itself, and special in defense mode, Barney Gates effects. And the important thing is that you can level modulate with this card and another card. So you can make this card level 10, or make a level 10 or a level four, and then go for rank four Xyz or rank 10 Xyz, which is going to be very important because there's a rank four Xyz in the box. I kind of uh, go to it now the this guy here the after the battle phase you can then tag out for your rank 10 which might get better with what we assume to be the ranked reward of super dimensional robot galaxy destroyer the transformer coming to dual links should be very very fun then necros of trishla as a super rare card what <laughs> this is one of the best necros cards they have and it's super rare after we got Brianak in the main box as an ultra rare. Something doesn't really add up here with the rarities and we'll kind of see that as we go on. But this is one of the best Necros cards they have. It's a quick effect, discard, negate if you control Necros. And also when it's ritual summoned you can banish exactly three of one card from opponent's hand, their field and their graveyard. So going first turn one it's not all that great but going second it's a very, very good card. Now, the problem is we really need Colossalus, which we don't have. And so until then, I think this does give Necros a bit of a boost, but not enough of a boost to the point where they would see entirely meta play. But that, but that might change, right? Then, Demise, Supreme King of Armageddon. If you've played Master Solo Mode, then this will be very familiar to you because there's an entire campaign based around it. And it's fun in that, but again... I don't think, I mean, it's better than the base demise, right? But I, I don't, I think this, this is the box card you're going to be getting. If, if you get this card in the box, you're going to be like, what the fuck, really? It is just a super rare, which is kind of a good thing. But I'm just not really looking forward to this. So I'm going to kind of skip it for the exciting card. Manju of the 10,000 hands. Finally, after five years of duel links, after Sonic Bird and Senju, we're getting Manju, and he is your ritual spell or ritual monster searcher on summon. 
he's just in general really really good he's staple three of in any ritual deck so far just uh just just a, an, an amazing card to have and of course uh loom Dong's best decks has won this for years the cyber angel so maybe there'll be a video coming out on his channel for that who knows i'll have to wait and see then fiendish rhino warrior the burning abyss why the bo no die well now you can find out with dual links because fiend monster control except himself can't be sure by battle or by card effect so what you would do is special summon out a BA first of all, then normal this, then usually the BA would die, but because this card works the way it does, it doesn't die. And then you can just make Dante. <laughs> very, very easily. And if this guy sends the graveyard, you can then dump a BA to the graveyard and then of course get the effects off of that. So really a very, very good consistency piece for Burning Abyss, which, you know, I bought that box and then didn't play Burning Abyss at all. So this might give me a reason to go back to Burning Abyss and try it out and see if it's any good, at least now, with Rhino Warrior, one of the main core pieces of the deck, or at least used to be, in the TCG. Then, Metal Foes Steelen. Again, super rare card, scale 8, and has the same effect as the Ultra Rare. They all do. So, this is another Metal Foes Spell Trap God Searcher, which is really, really good to see. Full Metal Foes Alkahest. This is the big one. This is the card I think will uh, really, really affect the metagame. Once per turn quick effect, you can yoink one effect monster on the field and equip it to this card. And this card gains defense equal to the combined total attack points of monster equipped to this card by its effect. And also, you can use monsters that equip this card as fusion material for a Metaphose fusion monster that lists them as material. So if you didn't know, uh, Metaphose in, in the game they all have different requirements, right? So we have uh, we have Mithrilium, who requires a Metaphose and a Pendulum. We have Alkahest, who is a Metaphose plus a normal. We have uh, Orichalc, who is two Metaphose, which doesn't really matter. We have Crimsonite, who is a Metaphose and two monsters with 3k less attack. And we have Adamantite, who is one monster with 25 or less attack. So, in general, you're just getting stolen. And then, you're getting searched out for the Metaphose Fusion spell card, which can then recycle itself back out from the graveyard, which is really, really good. And also the field spell, which uh, makes them unaffected by card effects, which is kind of ridiculous. And then the trap card mind of a matter because they're all psychics, which is basically a solemn judgment for that deck, which is fucking ridiculous. So uh, these guys are going to come out swinging. We're getting a, uh, we're getting pendulum uh, despots as well. So I think now we have the entirety of the despot deck in Full power in Duel Links, which is, you know, Age of Gage kind of exciting, so that's fair enough. And then finally, Metaphys Ascension. Probably the best Metaphys card we're getting in the box. Discard Metaphys card, draw one card, then banish Metaphys monster from your deck. That's just really, really good. If this card is banished, you can add one Metaphys card from your deck to hand, except itself. So, yeah. Now we are getting one more card from Metaphys, which is the Pendulum, which when a monster control is tied for attack, you can special summon one of your banished Metaphys monsters. Uh, Metaphys. We have a look. Where is he? Where's the boy? Where? Metaphys Daedalus. If this card is special summoned by the effect of Metaphys monster, you can banish all other face up special summon cards on the field. <gasps> so this is going to be one of the most cheesy uh, win conditions for Metaphys if you aren't careful enough. <laughs> if you fall to prey to the Metaphys decoy dragon, then this is going to really ruin your day. So uh, you gotta, gotta be a little bit careful. But uh, yeah, that is my very quick overview, reaction review of the brand new box, Maximum Gustav. Uh, apologies for my voice being kind of crazy and you know, and, and words kind of probably not making sense. Don't know why, today's just being a bit of a weird day. So uh, yeah, uh, overall, I am looking forward to this a lot. You know, for, for a Duel Links box, it's looking uh, very exciting. A lot of fun YouTube content decks, now, the question is, do I invest on this and try and build them? We'll have to wait and see. So, uh, yeah, let me down below what you think of the brand new box coming to Duel Links. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.